All right, I'm gonna show you guys my updated modern collection. Uh, these are all the decks that I use right now at tournaments and Friday Night Magic, local events. It's 11, two of them are budget though. So I'm gonna do those ones quickly first. I have some of the cards out here. Uh, this is my eight whack deck. Um, it's very budget. Like these are basically like a hundred dollar decks, uh, but sometimes surprisingly they do win. You know, bushwhacker hit people by surprise. Nothing wrong with goblin grenade. And this is my budget martyr life gain deck. Um, it's good. It's good against burn. That's pretty much its best matchup. Uh, it's very frustrating though, yeah, obviously, because you gain so much life. People don't tend to like playing with decks like that unless they're properly sideboarded for it. Here are more of the big boys. We'll go to the big boys. Speaking of big boys, we'll show you my uh, my hollow boy deck first. Let me open this one up. Ugh, I had to switch hands for this. Ugh. Sorry, I'll stop. Rinse. But uh, yeah. Oh my god. Hard to get off with one hand. That's what he said. Um, so, foil blood gas up in here. What up? Uh, so, I don't have too many foils, but I do have the Blood Gas Star foil. Um, there's nothing too absurd. I do have, I did put the OG fetches in here, Onslaught style. Um, but there's nothing crazy different or abnormal about this. It's pretty much the basic build. There's nothing hiding in there that is, uh, would catch you by surprise. So that's my Hollow One deck there. Here, right here is my Tron deck. Get out, get out. God damn. All right. This is my uh, Tron deck. It's foil chromatic spear. There's not too many foils in this one either. Um, I think just chromatic spear and I think it's worm coil engine, but it's the uh, promo version of it. Uh, not that cool little jank, but... Um, it's funny, when I actually f uh, just finished assembling this, like, uh, Ujin went up in price, Ulamog went up in price, so I was like, thank god I just completed it before that, because that would have been a pain in the ass to complete afterwards, because, uh, this deck now is very pricey. It used to be like a $600, $700 deck tops, uh, now it's close to 1000 because of that. Ulamog's like almost $50.00. Ujin's like 60 to 70 now. Yeah, so very pricey. But yeah, nothing out of the ordinary here. Uh, yeah, so that's my Tron deck. This uh, is probably, I think this might be my favorite deck, my favorite modern deck. Oh, there's some of my sideboard poking out. It's Coligan's Command. Oh, there's another one. Can you guess what it is? Yeah, it's my uh, Death Shadow deck. So this is a very fun deck to play. Uh, taking your own life down to make your creature stronger than hit them in with that team or battle range. Double strike. Trample. Yes. Very nice. Not too many foils in here either. But I do have a OG Step in Denial. Cons to Cure foil in here. I wish I had more. Uh, I got the unstable lands for my basics. Yep. Nothing too out of the ordinary here. I think... The only thing I have that's out of the ordinary is I'm only playing one bobble. Uh, I got, some, I got a, a three of the old Pluto Deltas on slot style. But there's nothing too out of the ordinary in this. Just the one bobble. And uh, then I have Faithless Lootings, I guess, as opposed to the Serum Visions. I only have one Serum Vision. And I have three Faithless Lootings and one bobble. Uh, I actually think Faithless Looting is just a great card in general. Uh, people are saying it might be banned. I really hope it's not. Because uh, when it comes to... When it comes to the Phoenix deck, which is probably the main reason why they're considering it, uh, I purpose I personally think that the more problematic card from that deck would be Manamorphose, because uh, Wizards has said on many occasions that they don't like free mana, and Manamorphose gives you free mana, and it replaces itself because you get to draw a card for it, so that's pretty good. Uh, so that's a target right there, and I mean, it would get rid of the storm deck in modern because that's one of the most that's one of the most powerful cards in the storm deck. 
But I mean, Wizards has already said that they don't like uh, Storm that much, right? So, yeah. Okay, so this is my blue-white control deck. Uh, there we go. Unstable lands for my basics again. Uh, actually, I think my islands might be unhinged. Yeah. So yeah, Chase the Mind Sculptor. I got the From the Vault version of it. I know some people don't like From the Vault that much because their foilings are not as good. But to be honest, if you've seen the foilings of Ultimate Masters, I mean, come on. Ultimate Masters, you can barely make out the foils, so... Uh, I don't think they make foils quite like they used to. But yeah, again, nothing too out of the ordinary here. Uh, I think my deck list for it is... Yeah, I run three Teferis and two Jace the Mind Sculptors, actually. Some people do the opposite, but uh, Jace the Mind Sculptor is very expensive. So right now, specifically. So Teferi's going down. It's a little easier to pick up. And when I completed this deck, uh, I just got Jace right before he went over 100, and now it's whew, it's like 130 almost for Jace. I could be wrong. That could be TCG mid, but yeah, pretty pricey. So that is my blue-white control deck. And this is my humans deck right here. Uh, I got a foil sin collector there. Uh, the unclaimed territories, Manus Rider, nothing out of the ordinary here. I have the OG meddling mage. Uh, my aether vials are from the iconic master set. Yeah, nothing too crazy. Very standard. I actually don't enjoy playing humans that much. Um, I don't know. Like it's it's a good deck though, but I do like. When I play Modern, sometimes I get more enjoyment out of other decks, and that happens to be one of the cases when it comes to humans, so, yeah. In any case, uh, this one right here is, uh, would you like some Haggis with that? Or would you like some Infect with that? Because this is my Infect deck. Pretty sweet. This one's got a lot of foil. This is probably my most foiled out deck in Modern. A lot of promo foils in here. Um... Let's see what else. Uh, a lot of like my small cards, like Vines of Vast with little like small pump up spells are all foils. Uh, my Glisten Elves, my Blighted Agents are foil. My Become Immenses are foil as well. Um, yeah, but it's a pretty. <sighs> Infect is a deck that I don't play too much, I won't lie. Uh, when I completed this deck, it was a while ago, and. Uh, I mostly use it for casual, but I was like, you know what? It technically is a uh, deck that you can win at your local game store with and you know, walk away with some store credit or something. So yeah, not too bad. And this is my, this is my Ponza deck. So I know you're probably already making fun of me right now because you know, who the hell plays Ponza? Uh, I don't that much actually, but uh, it's probably one of the only decks it runs Blood Moons in the main. Yeah, it does have the eight fetch lands. I run four Wooded Foothills and four Windswept Heats. I think it's a pretty good deck. I mean, it's kind of fun. It's janky, though. It's janky as hell. But uh, I don't mind playing it once in a while. This is my Affinity deck to Affinity and Beyond. All right, guys? To Infinity and Beyond. But, yeah, signed uh, Blink Moth Nexus Foil. Uh, there's not too many foils in this. I think it's just, yeah, I have the OG, though, Arcbound Ravager foil. This thing is worth more than the Masterpiece right now, believe it or not. Um, yeah, very, very sweet deck. One of the best decks in Modern. Probably one of the oldest staples in Modern for decks. Very good. And my last but not least, the first ever deck I've built in Modern. Naya Burn, mostly just, you know, for the sideboard, but uh, pretty much red-white burn. But this is, yeah, I just love this deck. Love it. I probably play this deck the most out of any of the decks I play. Uh, there's a lot of foils in here, too. All the lightning bolts are foil, all the lava spikes are foil. Um, I don't have any of the old cons of the Cure Fetch Lands in this. It's all the... I mean, it is the Kanza Tigir, sorry, I meant to say it's not the OG Onslaughts, but I do enjoy playing this deck quite a lot. Um, you gotta run four of those, by the way, if you're running a red-white burn. It's just, you need that fast land mana, you know, without taking your life out with shock. 
Um, yeah, so great, great, great deck. Um, so yeah, this is uh, this is my uh, modern deck collection. It's uh, grown a few decks since the last time I saw me. Some of the decks I completely scrapped or just ad adjusted a little bit. But yeah, this is it. I hope you guys enjoyed my video, and if you did, why don't you subscribe? Leave a comment, let me know how many decks you have in Modern, or what is your favorite deck that you use at the moment. And yeah, I'll see you again real soon.